anytime you're able to play in the NFL, it's a blessing. Uh, and to be able to be called by the Seahawks is something, uh, something precious, something phenomenal. And uh, just want to make sure that I take advantage of the opportunity that I have before me and make sure that I contribute while I'm here. What were you doing when they called you? Oh, living life, finally being a human, uh, being able to pick my kids up from school, being able to take them to school, spend some time with the family. Um, and just like I say, just kind of get out of a, a regular routine. It's kind of weird to wake up in the morning and be like, I don't know what I'm going to do today. And um, man, I got my full dose of Fortnite in, so I'm feeling pretty good. I was feeling pretty good. But at the same time, it's, it's nothing like being in a locker room. I know it's a lot of times where, you know, guys will sit here and talk about they missed the game, but it's more so the camaraderie, being able to be in a locker room, things like that, and uh, to be able to come back and fellowship with a lot of the guys that I know uh, and guys that I'm actually being introduced to is something that'll never get old. My kids are four, so I got my son is four, my daughter is one, and I got one that's doing about two weeks now. So yes, McKinney, Texas. Did you have opportunities this season? And if so, how close were you to? I did, I did. I mean, I had a number of calls. Uh, some just didn't work out. It was some that I may have turned down. Uh, and it was just more so because my body wasn't ready. I mean, I mean, I had a long off season and my body had got put through the burner. And I'm 31 now and I'm starting to realize things change once you hit 30. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. And um, it took my body to, to heal up a little longer than, than expected. But at the same time, I'm here, I'm blessed, I'm fortunate, and I'm, like I said, I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity that I have right now. Had you resigned yourself to the fact you probably wouldn't play this year, or it didn't get to that point? To be honest with you, I was just kind of hoping that somebody may have called during the playoffs and said, hey, Dakota, we would like you to call. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, when the, when the opportunity do come, you want to go ahead and take, take the most of it and make the most of it when it do come. And, uh, when it came down to the Seahawks, I mean, honestly, I wasn't expecting a phone call back as fast as it, as it, as it happened. And um, man, to get off the plane and then think that I was going to have a normal week. You know, I'm already planning stuff with my kids later on that week. And hey, we need you to come. And I was like, wow, well, I got I to gotta, I gotta go. I got to go. So. I'm going to miss trick-or-treating. That was one of the biggest things. I pride myself by having the best candy in the neighborhood. You know, having big candy bars and kids always coming back. And we ain't doing that cheap stuff either. We ain't having a little dumb dumb bars. I'm talking about we having Hershey, Snickers, all that. So I take Halloween very serious when it comes with the, when it comes to our, our kids and the kids in the neighborhood. What have the Seahawks said, you know, that they expect from your role and stuff? What have they told you that they, they kind of expect you to do? I mean, right now it's pass rushing. And uh, like I say, I'm just going to try to put my best foot forward and do whatever I need to do, whether it's pass rushing, special teams, coaching, water boy, equipment manager, anything that I need to do to be able to contribute to make the team better, I'm all for it. One of the first things Pete Carroll mentioned was your special teams play over your career. Just how much have you taken pride in that? I always take pride in that. And I think it's more so just to set an example to a lot of guys that you can definitely get played, paid and make the most of your opportunities by playing special teams. Um, that's one thing that can really prolong your career if you make the most of it. And uh, it open up a lot of doors, not only on the field, but with other teams. And if they see that you can be a leader and you take pride in that, then it all works out. What does it mean to you that former seventh round pick that 10 years in, this is still a thing for you and you're still, still able to do it? Well, ultimately that was my goal. Um, being like drafted seventh round, being considered a sleeper back in the day on scout.com. They didn't even know what a South Aiken was or Aiken, South Carolina was. And for that to be my motivation is being an underdog, you know, all my life. Um, I, I like proving people wrong and I, I let that drive me. And then when I have my own kids, that shows them that, you know, a lot of things is not going to be handed to you, you know, in their situation, it's not going to be handed. You have to work. So um, good, bad uh, and, and the ugly, I appreciate it. And I continue to uh, thrive with, with all my obstacles, uh, all my, I guess you can say, uh, my trials and tribulations. Since coming in the building, what surprised you? The energy, the positive energy. Um, I've been on a great many of teams already, um, but this energy is something different. I mean, it's just positive, and the coach is excited, and I'd be sitting in the meeting room like, what is going on here? Like, I don't know if I should react, you know, should I, you know, holler to or, you know, raise my hand or dance? I don't know what to do, you know? 
Are they gonna give me the basketball? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, but, but everybody's on the same page, and I think that's the biggest thing. When you have that positive energy, and the energy is constant, it's contagious. And when it's contagious, everybody's on the same thing, and that's why I, I believe that they've been so successful in the past. Is that different from where you've been before? I, it is. It is, and that's no disrespect to any other teams. You gonna have your other, you know, ways of coaching and the way you handle things. But at the same time, this is more of my speed too. I, I enjoy it. I, I like to smile and hoop and holler too. With uh, your time in San Francisco here under Sala, does that help you jump into the stream here? Is there enough carryover to where it seems like you picked this up pretty quick? Yes, definitely. Um, Coach Sala, he was here, um, and even when I played in Jacksonville. Um, the head coach was over there. He came from here as well, and the defense coordinator at that point in time too as well. And uh, to be able to have that same scheme and have things to relate, it does make it easier. But at the same time, I don't, you know, get lazy with it because, you know, you, you never know when in, in the football league. You never know. You never want to get comfortable, and you want to continue to be in that playbook regardless. They need pass rushing. How realistic is you play Sunday? Are you ready that too? Yes, sir. We'll, we'll see what happens, and I look forward to, to contribute any way that I can. Thanks, 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 All right, thank y'all. What, what number did you do? 59. 59? Yes, sir. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it.